you can actually get a master's degree in sound therapy now. Just about every major hospital in the country has its own sound therapy department. In science, we know there are three modalities of healing. One is electromagnetic waves, two, sound, and the third one, a static magnet. This massager head utilizes three modalities of healing science has known for years. Several years ago, the guy who invested the money in this study saw me speak at the Tesla Tech conference. He conducted a test over a two or three month period of time and the plants actually grew two to three times faster than the control. He decided to spend the money, the $6,000, and have the chakra sounds tested in an FDA approved lab to see how it's going to affect the body. Only listen to the chakras from root to crown three times and that's it. And we saw these phenomenal results. That was conducted by three doctors. It was a $6,000 study done on the A432. Now, this graphic here is probably one of the most interesting I've come across in my research. It was originally sourced from Stanford University. The one that's doubled, so you got the one, two, four, eight, so forth. This is the doubling. And then across the top here, you got the three, six. This is the tripling. So you got the thirds and you got the doubling. When you take those and you multiply this out into this matrix here, you've got the 432 smack dab in the middle. You have in this blue box, you see the speed of light, 432 squared. When you take the 432 and you square it, you get 186,624 nautical miles per second. Light doesn't travel in a straight line. Light curves. It travels in a curvature. This is an entire octave of C. All right, this is an entire octave here of G and then D and then A and E. These are all octaves. And this also follows the circle of fifths. This is a perfect circle of fifths as it goes across here. And you multiply the 432 by Pythagoras' whole numbers, you get every single one of the numbers that's in this matrix. From this CD here, Ben Scott and Krista Mitchell, here are the tones in the back, all the tracks. All right, these chakra bowls are handmade by Tibetan monks and they only use their hearing and their feeling. But these are the notes, these are the frequencies, and these are the chakras. You got the 216, 432, or 864. Those are all octaves of one another. They're all the note of A, so you can use whichever one you want. All works out mathematically beautiful, musically beautiful. It sounds beautiful, it feels beautiful, it's mathematically coherent. So that is why I've come to the conclusion on all these chakra frequencies. The efficacy of these tones that I've seen in my lab, I've seen tremendous healing, reduced inflammation in the body, reduced emotional stress in the frontal lobes, and it works out mathematically. This image is taken from John Stuart Reed's cymatic experiment conducted to show the geometry that the pure 432 hertz tone creates. The triangular shaped hole in the middle is created by the 432 hertz sound and it is in this exact shape of what is known as the trion ray, rediscovered by Michael R. Evans. This three-sided shape tessellates to create all the rest of the platonic solids. This shows that the 432 is in acoustical and structural harmony with the pulsing of light as it travels. 432 hertz tone cymatics is telling us is that there is something going through here that is creating these ripplings, okay? So I'll fill these in with 3D spheres that come together, and we get this here. You see how these look like leaves? This cymatics experiment is used by researchers to visualize related geometric patterns that specific frequencies create. It consists of a speaker playing a frequency underneath a thin metal sheet holding ordinary sand. As you can see, the sand is responding to the sound it is receiving and creating a geometric pattern that is particular to the individual frequency. You will notice that the sand is only creating defined geometric patterns in response to Pythagorean interval of the 432. 